Let's get right into this first round matchup in the automatic stay regional. Abraham Lincoln appeared in the infographic, The Flag of Bankrupt Presidents, and this is his story. Abraham Lincoln and his partner purchased a general store in 1833. Lincoln was competing against a larger, well-organized store in the same town. Their outfit did little business, and within a short time, it failed. The debt on the store became due the following year, and since Lincoln was unable to pay off his note, his possessions were seized by the sheriff. Lincoln's former partner died with no assets soon afterwards, and Lincoln insisted upon assuming his partner's half of the debt as well, even though he was not legally obligated to do so. Denny McLean appeared in the infographic, The Baseball Bankruptcy Hall of Fame, and this is his story. Denny McLean played as a pitcher in Major League Baseball for 10 seasons, most notably for the Detroit Tigers. In 1968, McLean became the last pitcher in Major League Baseball to win 30 or more games during a season, a feat accomplished by only 11 players in the 20th century and not since 1934. A compulsive gambler, by 1970 he was forced into bankruptcy despite being the first $100,000 a year player in Tigers history. He was to file bankruptcy twice more and also served prison terms for embezzlement and theft and was suspended from baseball for gambling. Let's get into the numbers to see who takes this first round matchup. McLean has his hands full, taking on Abraham Lincoln, who has a face on Mount Rushmore, automatically gives him a big head start in the Google fame stats. And it was a one-sided defeat by Abraham Lincoln in this first period. On the debt side, however, because of the change in the availability of credit between the early 19th century and the latter part of the 20th century, Denny McLean won this part of the contest going away, even adjusting for inflation. So going into the third and decisive period, Denny McLean actually has a slight advantage over Abraham Lincoln. With the contest this close, it's up for the panel to decide. Ira Drescher thought that it would be unheard of today for someone to take on his partner's debts if they didn't have to. And that said quite a lot about Abraham Lincoln. As far as McLean goes, Meryl Starr thought that he squandered his fame, his talent, and his money, and that he didn't deserve to score very highly. The panel agreed with her, and Abraham Lincoln won a decisive victory in this period. Lincoln wins this first round matchup, and will be heading on to the second round. I hope you enjoyed this first round matchup, and I want to know, did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Please leave a comment below. And if you want to catch all of the matchups and bankruptcy brackets, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.